Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another update. In this update, we're going to be talking about a tornado outbreak with damaging winds and large hail. So before I do get started, if you do like weather-related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. All right, so let's get started. Here is the latest advisory from the Storm Prediction Center. This is Sunday, February 28th as I'm doing this video. And unfortunately, we have a severe weather risk uh, today of a good chunk of uh, Texas uh, into Arkansas, into Mississippi and Alabama, into Kentucky and parts of Tennessee. We do have a marginal to slight risk uh, for severe weather. We're watching a cold front coming off the north northwest. It's been very, very muggy out here in this part of the area. And that's going to set the stage for a lot of instability and a lot of thunderstorm action. And that looks to start probably about noontime in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And that'll transition to possibly a uh, has a hail threat to it. It has a wind threat to it. And it also has a tornado threat to it just east uh, does include portions of the Dallas Worth area and just east of Dallas and intensifies a little e even greater and the portions getting into uh, uh, Arkansas, uh, portions of Mississippi, getting into Kentucky and portions of T uh, Tennessee. As this continues to lift off into the Northeast, this whole area right here in the green and the, the, the brown shaded area is going to be under the gun for a tornado threat, a low end tornado threat uh, for later on today into into tonight so let me kind of walk you through the parameters i mean check out the jet stream and these things are going to be racing that's why i'm trying to give you plenty a, 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 you know kind of advanced warning because you're not going to be able to get uh, these warnings fairly quick because these things are going to be moving about 50 to 60 miles an hour with this very elevated and active jet so these things are going to be able to possibly spin up pretty quick uh hail producers fairly quick so you will have little to no warning with these systems as these race across into the northeast with this very active jet uh overhead and you can definitely see for the uh the severe weather parameters they are highlighted today i mean it is february so we're not looking like a march april may event but definitely this is a pretty you know higher end event for for uh, february uh, a lot of the dynamics are right a lot of the atmosphere has turned over in this part of the country the dew points are very high I mean, the low is 67 degrees in dallas fort worth the, the regular low is 42 so that's you can tell you this is a a very soupy type atmosphere that's going to be tapping into and a lot of instability and so yeah we we do have our tornado par parameters into the Dallas Fort Worth area, portions of southeastern Oklahoma, getting into portions of uh, uh, Louisiana, and especially over Arkansas, uh, Mississippi, into western parts of Tennessee, getting into Kentucky. This area will be under the gun for possibly a tornado threat uh, later on this afternoon into the evening tonight. And yeah, these supercell composite is also fairly, uh, you know, fa fairly high as well as this. You can see the demarcation line where you got the lower dew points back behind it and the soup the soup you know out ahead of it that's going to be up tapping into creating an instability once the cold front moves through your area you're, you're done i mean there's not going to be nothing on the back side as far as severe weather there's going to be a, maybe a colder rain tomorrow in the dallas Worth area but not any severe weather so everything happens today and this pushes eastward and once uh, once uh, like i mentioned once that cold front moves through your area the, you know the, the the risk of severe weather would would go down so it's all a, it's all ahead of the cold front uh later on today you can definitely see the cape the convective available potential energy in the atmosphere is is fairly high i mean look at the parameters two to three thousand kgb so this is uh you know uh, not not an extreme but you know an average thunderstorm hits about 500 almost to a thousand so this is about three times the level of an average thunderstorm so yeah it does have has a lot of lift it has a lot of instability uh create the updrafts and you can get some rotation out of this and so that's why that uh, threat for severe weather is in place uh today and here's the here's just one of the uh, composite reflectivity of the latest uh, nam 3k and you can definitely see this boundary where the where the cold front is it's along that cold front dallas fort worth 
Oklahoma, you know, portions of Louisiana getting it as it moves southeast into Arkansas, into, into Tennessee. So you can definitely see right along this boundary, that's where things are going to start to fire uh, later on this afternoon into the early evening. So if you live in this area, you got to be under the, you know, under the gun for, you know, uh, get your cars parked under the undercover. Uh, make sure you're protected. Make sure you have a safety plan in place. Uh, get to your safe room if you you know hear any have your weather radio you know warning uh, available. Just to, just be weather aware today because it definitely looks like a fairly you know active day in that part of the country. But look at that. Look at the dew points. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, you're talking dew points in the in the mid to upper 60s. I mean, that's that's really high, and so that's definitely a prime atmosphere in this whole area where you can definitely see the 60s even extending as far as north as uh, Kentucky. I mean, even to, even into the even in the 40s and uh, Ohio is fairly fairly high into the 50s. So. You can definitely see that southwest wind is really taking advantage now. And before that cold front, back behind it, I mean, the dew points have dropped off like a rock. So this is all ahead of the game before but the cold front. And uh, your, even your fat levels, your precip uh, precipitation, water available content in the atmosphere. I mean, this is fairly high, even for a February event. Some of these levels are hitting 95, 99% of normal rainfall intensity. So this can put out a lot of heavy rain in a short amount of time. So there are flooding concerns in this area, you know, anywhere from Dallas to Houston to uh, Little Rock to, to Shreveport to Mississippi to Kentucky, Tennessee, these areas all along that boundary here. This is where the, the, the zone is, uh, late, you know, for later on this afternoon into today. You can definitely see some of the highlighted areas as this pushes east you know, some of your severe, severe weather parameters as that cold front uh, would push east, southeast, some of the more favorite areas of possibly uh, severe thunderstorms later on today, get it into the overnight uh, tonight. So I want to definitely make you aware of that. And then for this is another look from uh, the Weather Prediction Center. You can definitely see the highlighted areas where they have severe thunderstorms possible anywhere from Dallas, Fort Worth, to portions of extreme southeastern Oklahoma, and to Louisiana, to Arkansas, this whole area, and, and then and that'll transfer to more of a heavy rain event as you extend further up into the northeast, getting into uh, you know portions of uh, you know Ohio, getting into southern Indiana, uh, with some very some very heavy rain as these bandings. I can showed you the jet stream as this bandings traverse across, awaiting awaiting this cold front. So once this cold front moves through. You're in the clear, but b before that, you got to deal with this uh, uh, the severe weather threat uh, that's out ahead of it, and uh, you know then. The, the Storm Prediction Center also has the, the highlighted risk of where you're going to see possibly the most, uh, you know, heavier rainfall. I told you, uh, I showed you kind of the, some of the, you know, water fat content uh, precipitation available in the atmosphere that, yeah, I mean, you, you, even a marginal risk into East Texas as it gets even greater concern of more of a flooding threat as well, getting into the slight risk area into uh, Arkansas, uh, Mississippi, extreme portions of uh, Alabama, extreme portions of, of Georgia, and uh, mu much of Tennessee is going to be under the gun with some very heavy rain, and then even a heavier pocket, possibly moderate flooding as this banding really comes together, and, and maybe the severe threat has died, but it transfers to more of a, an excessive rain threat in this area, where they could be pick up, you know, putting down you know, two inch per hour rainfall rates and portions of uh, Kentucky. So Kentucky has been hit with, you know, snow and then you got ice and now you got heavy rain that uh, just within a short amount of time span. So this has been a lot of extreme weather uh, just in the last two weeks. We've seen a lot of transformation with some very cold Arctic air and then a resurgence from the Gulf. And now we're talking severe weather when we were talking, you know, a historic Arctic blast just 10 days ago. So this has been a very active time in the in the weather department and so yeah you can definitely see some of the highlighted areas just over the next 24 hours i mean this is rainfall just over the next 24 hours anywhere from two to three inches possible anywhere from east uh, of dallas that'll extend into uh portions of shreveport uh, arkansas getting into uh you know extreme portions of uh, Miss mississippi alabama 
uh, Western Kentucky, uh, Tennessee, and then uh, then getting into Virginia. This is just this is just West Virginia. I mean, this is just uh, you know in the next uh, 24 hours, and then for tomorrow, things do tend to die down. You can definitely see where the cold front would lie by then. It makes it all the way probably down to Houston. It makes it into a central part of the of the southeastern part, and uh, back behind it, we're gonna have a chilly rain because you have that overrunning event. <laughs> in Dallas. So you're, you know, instead of the, the 70 degree temperature you're having today, you're having, you know, a 50 degree temperature tomorrow and a chilly rain with no severe weather threat whatsoever, but you're still going to be dumping out some very heavy rain as that continues lifting off into the South, South pushing off to the Southeast. And then that heavier, those heavier rains will transfer uh, further along the coast. Now, into uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, get into Georgia and portions of the Panhandle, and yeah, even in the Northeast, yeah, we do have some mixed precipitation, uh, you know, that's coming in from the Northeast from a, a stronger cold front that's moving from f from the North, and then by t by Tuesday, uh, things definitely get to settle down even a little further uh and into dallas fort worth and then that rain that rain threat will shift even further uh southeast by then this part of the country and then transfer to as it taps into some of that colder air that's pushing uh from from the north then that that warm that warm gulf gulf air will kind of mix into this area and that's when you could see some some of them were a mixed bag by then you know you had heavy rain in kentucky on sunday but then it could be transferring to more of a kind of a, a sleet uh kind of a, a freezing rains snow type mix as you have some colder air aloft kind of mix it in and that'll get in portions of uh, virginia and getting into uh, kentucky and some of your heavier snows will still be included in the northwest uh, part into uh, the higher elevations of uh, of the northwest so yeah you can definitely see by monday and tuesday that tornado threat as that that as that you know, the severe threat as the, the cold front shifts further south the the severe threat would shift further south and you still have the elevated dew points to tap into elevated cape uh, index so yeah i mean you, you would have that potential of severe weather definitely shifting further south and uh, along the coast of the uh, florida panhandle uh by then and as you can take a look at some of the the rainfall parameters not just sunday but this would include uh the monday and tuesday event as that cold front uh pushes further south you can definitely see these highlighted areas where they have those you know potential flooding rains taking effect as well as the severe weather so definitely some some heavier rains uh over the next uh, just three days into the southeast so i definitely wanted to give you a heads up this morning on the severe weather threat uh definitely be on the lookout have your weather radios handy for later on this afternoon into tonight uh, so I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video. Definitely leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where I protect you before and after the storm.